हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेली देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन नाउ कम्स ऑन द कंटेंट्स टू बी डिस्कस हियर लाइक द डेफिनेशन एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन प्रिंसिपल इन्वॉल्व बिहाइंड द सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन प्रोसेस as well as classification of centrifuges let's start with the introduction about the centrifugation so first the things to be discuss here the definition of centrifuge actually centrifuge is a device for separating the particles from a solution according to their size shape density and viscosity of the medium another things if we talk about the centrifugation centrifugation is the process which involves the use of centrifugal force for the sedimentation of heterogeneous mixture with a centrifuge in another terms we can also define the centrifugation it is the unit operation employed for separating the constituents which present in a dispersion with the aid of centrifugal force in the process of centrifugation by using a suitable centrifuge is used to separate the particles as well as the macromolecules include the cells subcellular components proteins nucleic acids so these particles or macromolecules are separated on the basis of their size shape as well as their density so these are the basis of separations on which the particles or macromolecules are separated now comes on various application of centrifugation process so first the production of bulk drugs here the centrifugation technique is used to separate crystalline drugs such as aspirin from the mother liquor as well as the free flowing product results due to the removal of traces of mother liquor and avoidance of effervescence second application is the production of biological product in this most of the protein is proteinaceous drugs and uh, macromolecules which are present as a colloidal dispersion in water so this can be easily separate out by using the centrifuge another application is biopharmaceutical applications of drug here the drugs which is present in the blood tissues uh, and uh, urine are normally present in the form of colloidal dispersion so here the centrifugation is used for the separation of such type of drugs next the evaluation of suspension and emulsion in this the centrifugation method is used as a rapid empirical test parameter for the evaluation of suspension and emulsion another application is the determination of molecular weight of the colloids so in this the molecular weight of a polymer is not possible by usual method so ultra centrifugation methods are used for the determination of molecular weight of serum albumin insulin methyl cellulose etc so these are the some important applications of centrifugation process in this slide we discuss about the principle behind the centrifugation so here the following points to be considered first a centrifuge is a piece of equipments that puts an object in rotation around a fixed axis 
applying a potentially strong force which is perpendicular to the axis of spin second points the particles which differ in density size or shape sediment at different rates in centrifugal fields third points of the principle is that the particles will tend to sediment under the influence of gravity next as we seen in the diagram the basis of centrifugation techniques is to exert larger force than the gravitational force to to enhance the effective sedimentation force for the separating such particles from the liquids here the sedimentation also depends on the densities of the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium if the difference in the densities of these phase is less again separation is difficult but by applying the centrifugal force it is possible to facilitate the separation process in continuation with principle behind the centrifugation some points are also important like in the centrifugation the particles are normally suspended in a specific liquid medium held in a tubes which are located in a rotor next in a solution particles whose density is higher than that of the solvent sink and particles that are lighter than it floats to the top next is a particles whether it is precipitate a uh, macromolecules or cell organelles when rotated at a high speed is subjected to a centrifugal force so here the formula of centrifugal force is uh, m w into 2r where f is the intensity of the centrifugal force m is the effective mass of the sedimenting particles w is the angular velocity of rotation and r is the distance of migrating particles from central axis of rotation here one more things regarding the principle of centrifugation is the relative centrifugal force it is the common measurement of the centrifugal force in terms of the gravitational force so the relative centrifugal force rcf equals to rpm into 2r so this equation indicates that the rcf varies with the r value where r is the distance of migrating particles from central axis of rotation so it gives the idea of basic principle which is involved in the centrifugation now comes on classification of centrifuges so on the basis of mechanisms of separation there are two types of centrifuges first one is sedimentation centrifuge and second one is filtration centrifuge so if we talk about the sedimentation centrifuge it is a centrifuge that produces sedimentation of solids based on the difference in the densities of two or more phases of the mixture some example of the sedimentation centrifuge are horizontal continuous centrifuge super centrifuge and conical disk centrifuge if we see the terms ultra centrifugation this is a centrifuge that is based on the sedimentation type of centrifugation and uh, if we talk about this terms so when extremely fine solid matter 
is to be separated from a liquid for example in a colloidal research so ultra centrifugation is used here in this instruments a relative small rotor is operated at a speed exceeding 1 lakh rpm and forces up to 1 millionth time gravity if we talk about the advantages disadvantages as well as uses of the sedimentation centrifuge so first we talk about the advantages first one is centrifuges are compact and occupy a very small space second one is the separating efficiency is very high so that the particles are deposited very rapidly third one is two immiscible liquids are easily separated on a continuous process and fourth one is by controlling the speed of rotation as well as the rate of flow coarse particles are also separated while the finer particles remain in the suspension apart from the advantages here disadvantages are also listed first one is the construction of sedimentation centrifuge is very complicated and capacity is also limited now comes on the uses of sedimentation centrifuge so first one is blood plasma is separated from whole blood for this we can use the ultra centrifugation second one is suspension containing low concentration of solids can be separated quickly and in case of insulin manufacturing the liquid is clarified so as to remove the precipitated proteins so this is all about for the sedimentation centrifuge filtration centrifuge is an another type of centrifuge so here the solid phase passes through the porous medium based on the difference in the densities of the solid and the liquid phases in this the container contain a porous wall through which the liquid phases may pass and on which the solid phase is retained some examples of filtration centrifuges are perforated basket centrifuges and semi continuous centrifuges now comes on uses uses of filtration centrifuge so when solid recovery is the primary goal so that centrifugation must be considered as an alternative to simple simple filtration second one is it is also used for removing unwanted solids from a liquid for example precipitate proteins are removed from insulin as like sedimentation centrifuge the filtration centrifuge are also offers some advantages and disadvantages so first we talk about the advantages of the filtration centrifuge here some examples are first one is it can handles slurry with a high proportions of solids and even those having paste like consistency second the final product has very low moisture content and third one is in this method the dissolved solids are separated from the cake now comes on the disadvantages first one is the entire cycle is complicated which resulting in the considerable labor cost is high and second one is it is a batch process or semi continuous type process third one is the solids may form a hard cake due to the centrifugal force which is more difficult to remove 